person get a bucket, one person get a planking bar, and we've got two areas we're going to plant. We've got this area right up in here, and we've got another area right up in there. We kind of left this little cove in the middle. It's starting to revegetate pretty nice on its own. But you can see the rip ground behind us. Doesn't it look beautiful? Mm -hmm. Does it look like your gardens at home? Yes. No. Better, yes. Better, <laughs> better, better. Now, believe it or not, some of these monsoles can be extremely productive. You know, we're taking thousands of years worth of weathering and doing it just a, a very short time period, so we're releasing a lot of nutrients into the environment. That's one of the problems. But we can capture some of these nutrients and really grow some beautiful trees here. Oh, good. Okay? Good. So, so plant with care. Uh, we'll do a quick demonstration, and uh, I'll jump in the back of my truck, and you guys just kind of line up. I'll hand out some of the dibble bars, and we'll go up top, and we'll work crosswise, and we'll try to get this area planted if we can. And I shouldn't tell you this, but we do have a plan B. We do have some professional tree planters if we don't get it finished today, but hopefully we don't have to call. But you're saving us a lot of money. <laughs> That's right. The number of trees you put in the ground is saving money. Yep. So. And you're having fun. Right. And, and, and this is... <laughs> This will be a lot of fun. It, it's, it's really easy. You'll be surprised how fast it goes. Show us, God. Just and when you us. empty your bucket, you know, we got prizes for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. More trees. I can do that with your bucket. That's yeah. right. That's right. So you okay, want to so start from the top down. Yep, and we'll walk everybody up there. And what we did now, uh, normally we rip on an 8 foot by 8 foot station. Okay, that's 64 square feet per tree. That's 680 trees per acre. The landowner wants early successional habitat here for grouse and a whole bunch of other reasons, diversity, so we're planting a little bit tighter. So here we ripped on a seven foot by seven foot spacing. Uh, the ripping machine here, we use an excavator, rip down the hill first, and then he ripped on contour to prevent any erosion during heavy storm events, okay? So we'll get up top and we'll line you up in pairs and we'll start working crossways across the hill and hopefully we get this, what is this, Tim, two acres over here? Yeah, about two. Two acres over there, two acres over there. So we'll get up there and, and we'll get going and it'll, it'll go really fast. So pair up and then uh, one person grab a bucket, one person come over my truck and grab a good ball.